I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at how the Fitbit Charge 5 tracks sleep. So um, sleep tracking is one of the things that I think Fitbit does best. And you can see when you open up the watch, we can swipe um, up a couple of times on the screen here, and we'll get to our sleep tracking. It's actually going to tell you the number of hours and minutes that you slept the previous night. Um, but how does it actually accomplish that? Um, you can see there's a lot of sensors on the back of the Charge 5 here. We have um, heart rate sensors, we have a skin temperature sensor, and we even have a blood oxygen sensor built in here. So really quite a lot of sensors for a fairly small device. Um, there's also some sensors in here that you can't see, um, accelerometers and other sensors that are gonna detect movement. And um, although Fitbit doesn't say exactly how they track sleep, one of the great things with their watches is that they will automatically uh, determine when you fell asleep and when you woke up. So that's really convenient because you don't have to keep track of, you know, okay, tell the watch I went to sleep at X time. Um, it will automatically know when you went to sleep. It's not 100% accurate, but you can always go into the Fitbit app and then just go into the, the uh, sleep tab and you can adjust the time um, here if you need to. But you can see that um, in the Fitbit app. So another answer to the question of, you know, how does it track sleep? Um, it's going to use those sensors on the watch. It's going to know when you went to sleep and when you woke up, sync that data to your phone, and um, you'll get this breakdown of you know, how long you slept each night. You can go in and also see a record of um, when you were in each sleep stage. So again, it's using all those sensors on there, the accelerometers, the um, SpO2 or blood oxygen level sensor, and um, the other sensors that it has embedded to uh, detect, especially heart rate, to detect um, when you're asleep, setting the sleep start and stop times, and even to tell you when you were awake during the night. Um, another cool thing you can get with the Charge 5 that's sort of unique to it and the um, Fitbit Sense as well is the ability to see skin temperature um, for the last several nights or last night uh, when you were asleep. So you can go in here to uh, the health metrics screen on uh, the Fitbit app. You can go into trends, um, and then you can go and find the um, skin temperature. So that's actually using that skin temperature sensor on the Charge 5, uh, and that's going to track your sleep, uh, your skin temperature while you're sleeping on there. We'll also get some other cool things like um, you can see on here, we've got our SpO2 or oxygen saturation. Again, that's also being tracked as you sleep on uh, using that sensors on the Fitbit Charge 5. So um, how does it track sleep? Well, it uses the built-in sensors. It's got in there, it knows when you went to sleep, it knows um, what your heart rate is, how you're moving, what your blood oxygen levels are, and then it syncs all that data over to your phone. You get that detailed breakdown in the Fitbit app of how you slept the night before, um, you know, when you were awake, when you were asleep, and then it goes into a lot more detail of um, skin temperature and um, SpO2 and other advanced metrics for that sleep time. So um, how does it track sleep? Very well. Um, and uh, I think it's one of the best features on the Fitbit Charge 5.